Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to this session. Uh, I'm really excited to introduce uh, Patrick, Patrick Ariker from uh, Scrona in uh, Switzerland. They're doing some really interesting work on uh, electrohydrodynamic inkjet printing and also an approach that can be multi head and uh, industrial um, with very high resolution printing. Uh, so, yeah, I think without further ado, I want to leave the stage to uh, Patrick. As usual, Patrick, I will disappear two minutes before the end of your talk. I'll come back up, I'll give you a heads up, so you have two minutes left, and then I will read out all the questions that the audience asks. The audience, please write in your questions. Don't be shy. We we'll ask all the questions. So, off you go. Okay, thank you, Kasha, and thank you, everyone, for uh, joining uh, my talk. Uh, this evening, or morning, or late evening, as uh, the case may be. Uh, I hope um, it will be interesting for us. Um, what I would like to present you today is Nanodrip inkjet printing, which is a electrohydrodynamic based uh, printing technology that we are developing and commercializing at Scrona. Uh, this technology is really, uh, let's say, a high resolution additive manufacturing technology and we believe it's a technology that can shift paradigms because it's really one that can uh, allow true microfabrication so really high resolution uh, fabrication at the cost of a printing technology just to give you some background to our company uh, we are a spin-off company of eth zurich so you may be familiar with eth uh, swiss university we are located very close to the zurich area in odlisville uh, and doing our uh, uh, yeah work there. So what are we doing? Uh, as said, we are doing uh, printing. Uh, to be more precise, we develop a print head which is based on uh, electrohydrodynamic printing, or uh, some people would call it electrostatic printing, uh, that allows a very high printing resolution. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that uh, uh, later on. But uh, I just want to introduce this, uh, this talk by giving you some impressions about what the technology uh, can do in terms especially of, uh, of resolution. And you can see a few examples here. The, the human hair actually on the, in the background is in scale with the, the pictures that you see here. Uh, one of them, uh, notably this uh, small picture there with the, with the clownfishes, this has been uh, actually this has uh, uh, achieved uh, a Guinness World Record um, for the smallest ever uh, color printed uh, picture. So you can see the scale there. So this picture could actually really fit onto the cross section of a human hair. And this picture and that is uh, also in relation uh, to to display technology has been manufactured by use of quantum dots. So uh, the colors you see here. They're actually fluorescent colors, um, photoluminescent. Uh, uh, so we basically uh, printed quantum dots at different locations, uh, a different quantity, and then we were shining UV light at the picture. And, and the, the printing, basically the, 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 com the combination of blue quantum dots, so blue emitting, red emitting, and green emitting quantum dots were then yielding this image in that particular uh, quality that you can see it here. So what is electrohydrodynamics and how, do we, how are we able to achieve that high resolution? So the basis of our nanodrip printing, as said, electrohydrodynamics, is to basically use a completely different ejection mechanism that, than what is used in inkjet printing today. So in inkjet printing, you commonly push the liquid out of the nozzle from the inside. And what we are actually using, we use the electrical properties of the liquid to stimulate that uh, kind of electrical response, uh, mechanical response. Uh, sorry, this should be mechanical. So we use the electrical properties of the liquid to create a mechanical response of the liquid. Um, so what we are doing is we're really pulling the liquid out from the outside. So we're not push from the inside, but we pull from the outside. We're moving ions, which are basically present in any liquid. We move them to the exit of the nozzle and we, by interaction between, let's say, the substrate and uh, the nozzle, the ions that are uh, moved to the surface of the liquid, we, we, we achieve a force, and that force is really pulling the liquid out. And what is interesting is, is that the force is, uh, is 